Hi there, Aries. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 18th through September 24th, 2017. This is for the sign of Aries. This is meant to be a love reading. Whatever comes up will come up. Whatever doesn't, won't. <laughs> um, this may or may not resonate. If it does, great. Um, if it doesn't, then um, check your rising sign or your moon sign, or I may not be the reader for you. I have pre-shuffled these, so I'm going to go ahead and lay them out here in just a second. The first card, first card is death, the second card is the lovers, the third card is the hangman, the fourth card is the knight of cups, the fifth card is the knight of swords. Here we have the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands and the strength card and the two of cups and the eight of cups and the eight of swords and the world, knight of cups. Two of cup or five of cups, sorry, and ace of swords. So right in the middle of the reading is the eight of swords. That's the basis of your reading. That eight of swords right there in the middle. All right, that's being stuck in a situation that you don't really want to be stuck in anymore, but it's comfortably stuck. Okay, you're stuck there because it's comfortable. All right. This Eight of Swords is right in the middle. This is the basis of your reading. You are comfortably stuck, Aries, in a situation. It's like playing a victim. This is like feeling like you are imprisoned, but the fact of the matter is you're not. You're not even tied at the bottom. She can walk away at any time. Her arms are tied, but that's it. There's no nothing. She's not tied to nothing. She can walk away, but she's comfortably stuck and blindfolded, too. All right? She could start screaming. Her mouth's not plugged. So, you know, she could be screaming right now, but she's not because she's comfortably stuck. This is an Aries. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is a man or a woman, okay? So you are feeling comfortably stuck in a situation. And you may be moping over, you know, a loss of love, a loss of a companionship, you know, and not seeing that there's other opportunities. Now, this may or may not resonate with all of you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. You are about to get have a wake-up call. There's going to be a breakthrough that hopefully helps you to get unstuck. This is the breakthrough. This is the awakening, which helps you to get unstuck and helps you to release. You've been resisting a change. For some reason, you've been resisting a change, and I don't know why. You've been resisting it. You've, it's like you definitely feel comfortably stuck, all right? You know, it's going to take courage, it's going to take willpower, it's going to take discipline, and it's going to take inner strength for you to change your destiny, for you to change your path. This is the world, which is destiny. It is going to take these things, strength, wisdom, discipline, courage, confidence, and you can't, if the longer you resist it, the longer you're going to stay stuck, okay? This is resisting change. This is being stuck. Luckily, we have the breakthrough right here. This is the cord that cuts through the bullshit. Not the cord, the sword. The sword that cuts through the bullshit. You may end up leaving some something behind, something that you are emotionally attached to. That's what you want. I think you're stuck to a person, you know, that's what I see. It could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, could be a uh, Scorpio, could be a Taurus, uh, Virgo Capricorn um, we do have air sign up here too but I see I think there's like you have more than what the, the uh, up here we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords so this tells I think you have a choice between two people you know I think that you're trying to make a choice maybe you're you're resisting a change you're stuck in a spot where you don't really want to be but there's a reason why you're stuck because you're comfortably stuck for some reason you know, because maybe you just don't have the courage or the inner strength. Maybe you all of a sudden got this attraction to somebody else. Now, this isn't going to resonate for everybody. To somebody else that came out of the blue. Okay, this attraction came out of the blue. And it was like, what the hell is this? And it's, it's like, oh my God. 
and now you have to choose between it's now you're you're stuck you could be stuck with somebody else you know or you're stuck in a position could be because of several reasons who knows what it is you're stuck in a situation and you can't follow the lead I mean you can't follow the path you know and this uh, one of these people could be you know there's a definitely a very romantic attraction you know a strong attraction magnetic between you and another person and I think that you have to make a choice you know, I think that you you want to go in another direction. I think one of them is more passionate than the other. And one of them is more exciting, you know. And, and one of them, the magnetic attraction is way stronger. So you're like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, so I feel like you're, you're, you're comfortably stuck in a situation, but you really, really are thinking about um, cutting through it. You're, you're, you're you know... Of getting down to the bottom of this and freeing yourself all right it looks like you might be thinking of freeing yourself I think there's been delays you know I think you might have even had this um, unexpected feeling for somebody that came in out of the blue could be for a while now or this could be new I mean it all depends on you there's like I said this is for hundreds of thousands of people and you you know just didn't know what to do and you've really been thinking about it crying about it moping about it like oh my god how am I going to handle this what am I going to do and you've been resisting the change out of fear okay out of fear this is where you release the fear right here this strength card you release the fear and it changes your world this is the world card it means the world card comes out it's the last card in the deck when you've learned something major a major life path or project or lesson has been learned or ended or completed could be schooling could be a marriage could be a relationship could be a job you know a job that you had for 10 years something long term has ended and it's time to start something new your new phase could involve somebody that you are very much aligned with okay there could be a lot of passion all right you are I see that you need to let somebody go though you need to let something that you are emotionally attached to go could be a person all right and you've been putting it off putting it off putting it off but you know you need to because you have this desire inside of you all right this is a new phase of your life. This is the death card. When the death card comes out, it's kind of like the world card, but a little bit different. It means that you are about to have a major life transformation. Again, something has ended. This is connected to um, this person and this leaving something behind. So it could be a relationship, or it could be a feeling that you've had, you know, that you've been attached to somebody for. 10 years emotionally whatever that could be it that happens to people okay you've been attached to somebody even even mentally and you decide to let it go because this is cutting through it this is cutting through the bullshit this is finally a breakthrough finally all right you're definitely leaving somebody behind i see you leaving something behind and it takes courage it takes strength or, or somebody or something or some attachment. It takes willpower. But there's excitement right ahead of you. Okay. There is. You might be feeling very attractive this week. You probably are looking very attractive with these two cards all right I'm just saying just throwing that out there's a, there's some attractiveness here um, I don't know why I don't know why you you are res you are resisting change so badly you're scared but I see that your your confidence is right here so maybe this week is when you decide to to bring out that willpower because both willpower willpower and this is the truth this is the breakthrough where courage takes over and confidence to take that next step that changes your path that one phase ends and another phase begins 
I did pre-shuffle these as well. Five of Cups, you are. Next to the Eight of Cups, you're leaving. That you're leaving some. This is, and you got the Five of Cups here. These are these are goodbye cards. Like, um, I'm not going to stay stuck in this situation anymore. Or somebody has left you, or you're leaving somebody, and it hurts. And it's it's an attachment that is that is leaving. Okay. There's some hurt. Okay. This right here. Seven of Wands. It's been a constant battle. It looks like you've had you've been fighting for something. You've been battling, battling, battling. It's been a constant battle and you've been resisting it. It's almost like you challenge. You're you've been like challenging the fight, okay? It's been like a like uh You are the challenger. You're not the challenger, but you're well, you might be the challenger, but you know it could be vice versa, whereas you it will accept the challenge, okay? You know, like that. The devil. Desires. All right, you do have some passionate desires elsewhere. I think that that's what it is. I think that you are, you're thinking about um, other things. I think that you have some desires that are... Uh, away from here you know wherever you're being stuck i think that you're very attractive i think you have some sexual desires put it that way okay that are, are some other desires okay the devil is about obsession it's about addiction it's about it's about carnal desires it's about manipulation it's about um power struggles so i think but it's about listening to your inner demons okay listening to them and and going in that direction all right you have these desires that need to be fed and that's you know why you might have this breakthrough eight of swords twice twice you are so stuck but you're not this is a false and this one is too a false feeling of being imprisoned. The devil is as well. It's a false feeling, and this is too. False feeling of being imprisoned. False feeling of being stuck. Playing the victim. You have it twice. It's like not taking action when you know you need to take a step. You know you can do something about it, but you're pretending you can't. That's what these this card says. Two of Cups, you know you really should because their true love could be on the other side. Your true love. You got true love here and true love here. This is a, a major connection. And I'm saying true love because we got it twice. Okay? You're, there's somebody on the other side of this victim, you know, placement, whatever it is. You know, this feeling like I can't move or this fear that is very much in tune with you this is the two of cups this is like a soulmate card this is the couple this is a this is a couple that is very romantically attracted magnetically there's a lot of chemistry a lot of passion and a lot of love and you have it twice okay on the other side once you decide to get unstuck once you take have this breakthrough that makes you take a step out of this comfort zone and the world card again and your whole life changes now this is a probable this week this week I mean you if you take a step away from whatever is keeping you trapped or making you feel trapped your whole life could change we have the world card twice. It's the last card in the deck. When that deck comes up, one phase of your life is over. And it was a big phase. And you're about to start another one. Okay? But you can't keep crying or moping over something that didn't work out. If something didn't work out, and you're... That's, I mean, we have the five of cups twice. That's something that didn't work out. Crying over spilt milk. Moping over something that did not happen the way that it should have. And just being like, oh, wah, wah, wah. I'm just, you know, 
And I'm sorry, I know you guys don't do that much because you're very strong-willed and you're very strong suit um, or sign, but sometimes the words don't come out right, right. But for me to explain it right, you know, you're like, sad that it didn't work out. Wheel of Fortune. Or sad that you're going to hurt somebody. You have the world three times now. This is destiny. It's a major new beginning. It's a major new beginning with one world card. It's a major, major, major new beginning with three world cards. Okay? You have learned something big. This is a completion, completion, completion. Get it? Three. Com it's a completion, completion, completion. All right? This could be about travel. All right? You have reached the finish line. You have reached the finish line of a situation. Celebrate your new journey. A new chapter is right around the corner. You just have to take another step. You need to follow your intuition. If you have any secrets, you need to let them out. Okay, because this is about secrets and intuition. All right. This is about harmony and balance and equality. This is starting a new journey with faith and trust. You have to have faith and trust that your match is right around the corner. You may go through a period of time of being on your own. This woman is the Nine of Pentacles. She's the widow. She's the widower. She's a man or a woman. Um, divorcee. Separated. You know, it's the person who is on their own, who is very grateful for all that they have. And they go through a period of time of just taking care of themselves. All right, and they live in the little luxuries that make them happy and they really take care of themselves for a period of time. They focus on me. So I think this week is about you taking a step in the direction that makes you happy and it could lead to a major Completion. Completion, completion. That's what I have, Aries. Talk to you later.